We're leaving Sydney today, but before we do, there's one place we have to go. We've seen this place dot around Sydney and we were wondering what it was, so we gave it a quick Google and it's actually an Australian fast food chain restaurant called Hungry Jack. So we've come here, we've picked up some lunch, we're gonna try it. But we're cutting it short for time because we need to catch a train to the Blue Mountains National Park, which is where we go next. We're gonna have to take it with us and just eat it on the train. Oh, I got the chicken royale. Right Ashley got the Jack's fried chicken. And then we also got to share a cheeseburger but with the barbecue sauce. Don't try that first. Yeah, why not? It's nice with the barbecue sauce. It tastes more like fresh than back home. It tastes more, it tastes more fresh than like a McDonald's. Yeah. Go for the fried chicken next. It's like a massive bit of chicken, much bigger than like uh, McDonald's or something. It? It kind of reminds me of Burger King. Is it just Burger King? Ooh, it could be. It's been a while. Mm. Well, that's like proper, proper chicken, isn't it? Thick bit of chicken. Looks like a proper breast of chicken. That's mm. good. Really crispy as well. And I went for the chicken royale. It looks more like a breaded. Oh, my life is full. Never. It's stuck in. Hmm. Now this is a bit similar to the McDonald's chicken burger. Not like a proper, proper breast of chicken, but pretty good though. They also had Fanta raspberry on the menu, which we don't really get back home. Never seen it before. It's like bright pink, the prettiest color drink. I like how they've got like this sort of like sippy cup. Yeah, can you see how pink it is? It's so pink. Probably very sugary. <laughs> yeah, I got a feeling it's going to be really sweet. Oh, that's strange. Is it? Yeah, it is really sweet. It basically tastes like you're having sweet. It turns out it's pretty much the same as Burger King. It is a franchise of Burger King, but it just tastes so much fresher for some reason. And we've made it to the town of Katumba in the Blue Mountains National Park. Katoomba. Katoomba. What a nice word to say, Katoomba. Katoomba. We've come straight to our hostel to check in. We've stayed at the YHJ hostel here in Katoomba. It's really popular amongst travellers. And it's about a two hour train ride to get here from Sydney Central, which costs us absolutely nothing, as is part of the free travel week here in Sydney. We are staying in a double private room with an ensuite, which was unexpected. So that's a nice little bonus. The main reason we're here in Katoomba is because it's at the heart of the Blue Mountains National Park, which is surrounded by nature and really cool hikes. It looks incredible. So we're not gonna waste any more time. We're gonna head out and start exploring. We've made it to Echo Point, which seems to be like the main start point where there's car parks and the walks seem to branch off that way and down that way. But what is in front of me, I can only describe as a massive Grand Canyon, but filled with trees. Yes. It's insane. Yes, that's the, that is the perfect description of it. Echo Point's where we're at, and it was about a 20 minute walk from the YHA Hostel. It's pretty straightforward, it's well signposted. It's quite touristy, but it's not that busy at all. And it the is insane. The views I'm about to show you now are incredible. The camera's not going to do them justice, it never does, but wow. definitely tell why this place is really touristy we're just walking down to another lookout just below but there's not that many people here considering how cool this place is i don't know why but i'm not mad about it this is the famous three sisters here we've got one two three and it looks like there's a fourth like here coming like a little baby one 
Oh, on the end there? Yeah. yeah, fair. It's the most famous landmark here in the Blue Mountains, and they're over 900 metres tall. They're all made of sandstone, and they were caused by erosion from the wind and the rain. And they said that they will be fully eroded away soon. Do you remember their names? Beanie, Wimla, and Gunnadu. Which one's which? Meanie will not gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool that we've had a chance to see them now though, because if they're eventually gonna be eroded away, at least we can say we've seen them. There is actually, I don't know if you can see, but a little pathway across here. So I'm assuming you can walk across, which is what we're gonna try and do. But the view here is absolutely nuts. It stretches for so long. It's just a massive green Grand Canyon. It's crazy. Okay, we're heading down the giant stairway, which hopefully takes us to a cool spot. It's very steep. I'm not gonna enjoy coming back up here. <laughs> well, this is actually really, really steep. <laughs> and it's way, no wonder it's a giant stairway. <laughs> it's way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so this is the first uh, right in front of us. And this is the path that we wanna to get to to check out the view. This it is. down here is the bridge that we pointed at earlier. Whoa. You've got such a good view. Everywhere you look, there's just such a good viewpoint. So that's the sister there. This is the left side of it. And it's just another big, huge valley. I keep saying it's like a big, giant, green Grand Canyon. And I can't think of anything else to describe it as. Okay, so we can't go across the bridge. There's penalties apply for entering closed areas due to hazards. The stairs continue to go down, so we're going to head down the stairs, and they are very steep the stairs we just climbed wasn't the giant stairs this is the giant stairs and it is very 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 steep okay so we've come from the up there that's how you can see how steep it is now and it continues to go all the way down that way so i think we're just going to carry on walking and see where it goes We've just Googled, there's 998 steps in total. We've probably done like 500. It's taken us like five, 10 minutes to get down here. So I think we're just going to go back up because at the bottom is literally just an intersection. One way leads into the forest and the other way leads to the scenic park. But we're going to go back up because there is a couple of waterfalls apparently and I don't know how good they'll be, but... Because it hasn't rained for a while, but they did have a lot of rain in the winter. So we're going to go this way and head up to the waterfalls instead. As predicted. It is tough coming back up. We're nearly at the top now. It's a bit rough, especially in this heat. We've made it to where the walks are for the waterfalls, and we're here, and it looks as if we can walk this way across the falls, and then down here to Katumba Falls. That's the aim. I can hear waterfalls, so I feel like it's gonna be a promising sight. Sound of water is always good when you're gonna see a waterfall. We've made it to Katumba Falls, but you can't really see it because these trees are in the way. That's it there. Is there somewhere else you can see from? Um, oh, you can see it from up there, maybe. Oh, maybe we can walk over there and have a look. There's a lot more things to see here than I thought there was originally. I thought it was just the Three Sisters Walk and that was it, but there's actually quite a bit. Okay, it looks insane from here, to be fair. It is way more impressive than I thought it was going to be. And it's you've got so the view. Big. You've got the view of the Grand Canyon as well. It is insane. The camera definitely doesn't do it justice, but it's like never ending. It just keeps going and going and going. Yeah, like there's trees in the way here, but I bet it goes down even further. I never heard of the Blue Mountains before, before we came and before we started researching into Australia, but highly recommend. It is definitely a must-do. Put it on your list if you are coming to Australia. It is absolutely insane here. When we were researching into what to see in Australia, obviously this place popped up on YouTube and stuff, and we've seen pictures online, but... It's one of those places that you see pictures online and then you go to that place and it exceeds those expectations. Yeah, the, the pictures online don't do it justice. You have to come here and experience it because it is just insane.
It is the next day. We've come out just to explore the town a little bit because we obviously didn't see it that much yesterday. We've picked up some pastries from from the bakery. The bakery, and we've just come to this little park area to eat it. What have we got, Kels? We have. What was this? Was this a cheese and bacon slice? Yeah. I think it looks a bit like a pizza. Hmm. Just was like a pizza. You want to little bacon bits on it? We also picked up a sausage roll, but it smells really steaky. I don't know if you can see that. It looks really dense. Oh, that pastry is really flaky. No, it doesn't taste like a sausage roll. It tastes more like a steak pie or something. No way. It's very dense, isn't mm. it? That's really good, though. Yeah, nothing like the sausage rolls we have back home. Checked out of our hostel and made our way to the train station, saying goodbye to Patumba and heading back to Sydney.